Hey, what's going on Freestyle Forum? Today I'm going to be giving you five tips to help you level up your freestyle rap game fast. My name is Big Al and I started freestyle rapping about 12 years ago with my friends and for about 10 years I just freestyle rapped casually like maybe after work we would hang out and kick some bars, maybe on the weekends we would spit some raps at a party, we might have a freestyle cypher going, but I never really took my freestyle rapping seriously until about two years ago when I started freestyle rapping every week live on YouTube and Twitch. That's when I really started leveling up my game and learning how to practice freestyle rap. And I can say confidently, I've learned more in the last two years of freestyling than I learned in the entirety of those 10 years leading up to it. So these five tips today are hopefully gonna help you learn how to freestyle rap a lot faster than I did so you can get to the point of being an advanced freestyle rapper in just a few months rather than taking years to do it. Let's get into it. Tip number one is something I wish I did a long time ago and that is to record your freestyles. You've gotta be recording your freestyle rap practice sessions if you wanna get better at freestyle rapping. And I think the number one reason why you want to record yourself freestyling is because we're all our own biggest critic. So when you're freestyling in front of your friends, you might catch a flow and I think your friends are gonna cheer you on and hype you up and tell you that what you're doing is great because it's awesome to see somebody expressing themselves with art, but you're probably not getting better if you're just doing that same thing all the time. If you record yourself and listen to it alone later on, I think you're gonna find that you notice a lot more mistakes and weaknesses in your rap game than anybody is going to be telling you from an outside perspective. So when you listen to recordings, you can actually internalize the weaknesses and the mistakes and the little hiccups that you make. And you can write those down or take a mental note and actively work on improving those weaknesses, which you probably wouldn't even notice in the moment when you're so focused on a freestyle rap. Tip number two, and this is a huge one for me, is to make your practice sessions binary. And what I mean when I say make your practice binary is you wanna do practice exercises to improve your freestyle raps where you either pass or fail that practice exercise. See, the worst thing that you can do when it comes to improving at freestyle rap is just put a beat on and go off the top and say whatever comes to your head. The problem with that is that's what we do when we perform freestyle raps. So when I'm in a cypher with my buddies and I'm kicking freestyles off the top, I am just saying whatever comes to my head. If I do that same thing when I get into the practice room, I'm never going to learn new things and develop new skills to level up my game. The way that you learn new things is by challenging yourself. So you wanna set practice exercises where you either pass or fail that specific objective that you've given yourself. And those objectives are usually rooted in your weaknesses that you want to practice yourself out of. So a great example of that would be, I may sit down for a practice session and write down one of my filler phrases. One of those words or phrases that I just say all the time instinctively, which I would like to say less when I'm freestyle rapping. And I'm gonna say, today's practice session is, I'm going to spit a verse and I'm not allowed to say this phrase once. So I can spit the verse, I can record myself, listen back to it and say, did I say that phrase? And if I didn't, I pass the test and if I did say the phrase I failed the test and that's a great way to root out your weaknesses so there's tons of ways to create a pass or fail binary practice exercise I could choose a specific rhyme scheme that I'm trying to do and I could say that I either did it or didn't do it I can choose a specific rhythm that I'm trying to work into my verse and I either did or I didn't implement that rhythm in the verse and what you're gonna find is when it comes to your strengths, it's extremely easy to pass a test on those strengths. So one of my strengths is one syllable rhymes. I can do one syllable rhymes infinitely. I'll never find a one syllable word I can't rhyme with. I could pass that all day. But if I wanna challenge myself, I can do three syllable rhymes or four syllable rhymes only. No relying on one syllable rhymes for the entire verse. And what I'll find is I'll often fail that test maybe eight or nine bars into the verse. And that's exposing to me my weakness and where I can improve. Because if I can go three syllable rhymes for eight bars, 
that's okay. Maybe tomorrow I can go for 12 bars. Maybe the next day I can make it all the way to 14 bars. And then finally at the end of the week, I'm able to do 16 bars straight with those three syllable rhymes. And I wouldn't be able to get that progression in my game if I didn't make my practice sessions binary where I'm able to tell myself I either pass or I fail. Freestyle rap tip number three to seriously, seriously speed up your development as a freestyle rapper, you've got to be doing this, is freestyle rap in front of or with people. A lot of freestyle rappers, when they're beginners, they're very nervous to let themselves out there. They're very nervous to try to freestyle rap, knowing that most likely when we're beginners, we're just going to kind of fall flat on our face halfway through a verse. And so people say to themselves, I'm going to practice all alone. I'm going to go into my room or in my car and I'm going to practice all alone. And then eventually I'll be good enough to go rap in front of other people. But Unfortunately, the harsh reality is that's not really how it works. The best way to grow is by experiencing some pressure. And the pressure really comes on to us when we are rapping in front of others. So if you can get yourself involved in a freestyle rap cipher where you're with a supportive community of people who are going to help you learn, that's the best way to really put your feet to the fire. And when we're in front of people, we don't have any time to rely on our old mistakes or our old weaknesses. We have to put our best self out there because we can't just flounder in front of others. So putting yourself in front of others and rapping is really, really an amazing hack to freestyle rap. And it makes it a lot more fun to do it and a lot more supportive. And you feel a lot more of that energy when you're rapping in front of other people. Which, by the way, if you're looking for a group of people to freestyle rap with, you should check the description out below this video with a link to the Freestyle Forum Discord, where we've got hundreds of supportive, positive, dope freestyle rappers who want to practice freestyle rapping with you. We've got 24-7 cypher rooms where anybody can join and practice freestyle rapping together. I'm in there all the time. So are my friends Johnny Jazz, Darwin Raps, Throwed Genji, and tons of other high-level freestylers. It's a great place to go if you want to take advantage of the power of freestyle rapping in a group with other people. Freestyle rap tip number four for fast development is to use tools on the internet to help you freestyle rap practice even more efficiently. I'll list a couple of my absolute favorite freestyle rap tools on the internet. The first one has to be randomwordgenerator.com. Randomwordgenerator.com can generate infinite random words with all sorts of different parameters to help you jog your creativity in your brain and riff off of new words that you might not be able to think of by yourself. And it gives you content to rap about alone when you don't have somebody else to provide you topics. Randomwordgenerator.com also has random image generators, random sentence generators, random phrase generators, and tons of other random generators to get your creativity going. Another great random word generator is available on wordcounter.net. It's just like randomwordgenerator.com, but I found that it has a very different list of random words, so it's a great way to mix things up if you're getting tired of randomwordgenerator.com. And on that note, another dope website is RapScript, which is specifically a random word generator designed for rappers. You can play beats in the background directly on that web page and the random words are just going to keep popping up at regular intervals so you don't have to constantly be clicking the screen you can just sit back and focus on your practice another amazing amazing tool that like i wouldn't be able to survive without as a freestyle rapper is rhyme zone rhymezone.com has infinite rhymes for any word that you cannot think of a rhyme for so constantly when i'm freestyle rap practicing and i'm trying to do a little pass or fail practice exercise is i'll do random words over and over again and i can either come up with a rhyme for that random word or i can't and if i can't come up with a rhyme right on the spot for a random word i'll write those words down in a big list and then afterwards i'll head over to rhyme zone where that website will provide me with tons of different rhyming ideas for all of those words that i stumbled on earlier and i can increase my rhyming vocabulary a ton there's also a website for rhyme creativity called rhyme wave which helps you come up with multi-syllable rhymes in all sorts of different formats for like basically any syllable combination in the English language. On top of that, of course, you should be using online dictionaries, online thesauruses to come up with words and related words and 
increase your vocabulary at every chance you can get. And the last online tool that I'm going to recommend, and this is kind of a shameless plug for myself, is gonna be The Rhyme Game. The Rhyme Game is kind of like a little helpful video tool to help you practice your freestyle rapping, and it makes freestyle rapping easy for beginners and it helps advanced freestyle rappers really unlock parts of their game that they weren't able to practice before. I'm gonna put a link to a rhyme game right up here in the corner of this video. Go there and check it out, and I guarantee you it'll help you learn how to freestyle rap because the rhyme game is the thing that helped me learn how to freestyle rap. And the fifth freestyle rap tip that I have for people looking to level up their freestyle rap game is that a little bit of practice every single day is always better than a lot of practice once in a while. So let me clarify. I believe that you can become an amazing freestyle rapper if you just practice the right way five minutes a day. And I firmly believe that because I've been freestyle rapping about five minutes a day for about the last year and my skills have been increasing doing so. So sometimes less is more when it comes to memorization and mental work. You don't want to get to the point in your freestyle rap practice if you go for like a half hour or an hour or two or three hours freestyle rapping, eventually your brain is going to get sloppy and start making the same mistakes over and over again. And we know that practice doesn't just make perfect, practice makes permanent. And if you're practicing the same mistake over and over and over again, eventually that mistake is going to become a concrete part of your game and that'll be here to stay. It'll be very hard to break those bad habits. So it's always better to end practice a little early than ending practice a little late. On top of that too, there's a lot of neuroscience that goes into the power of sleep. You know, sleep helps us decompress our brains and recompile the information that we've learned throughout the day. So the more sleep cycles you can get between your freestyle rap practice sessions, the better your brain is gonna remember those rhymes and help build up the rhyme and rhythm dictionary that you have deep inside of your subconscious. So it's better to practice five minutes a day for seven days a week than it is to just practice one hour on Sunday. And I know that if you practice one hour on Sunday, you actually get a lot more time on the microphone than if you just practice five minutes a day. But it's all those sleep cycles that really add up. And I promise you, if you put in five minutes a day of practice for a week or a month, you're gonna be blown away by how much you're developing with that little amount of practice. And lastly, I wanna give you an extra bonus piece of advice because I just really think a lot of new freestyle rappers need to hear this. And that's that the point of freestyle rapping is to have fun. The point of freestyle rapping is to open up your mind and express yourself and share this musical energy with the other people in the room. So never ever forget that freestyle rapping is all about having fun. Don't put too much pressure on yourself to be perfect. A freestyle rap will never be perfect. Don't put pressure on yourself to be too cool or to match someone else's style a lot. Just be yourself, have fun, and focus not on freestyling perfectly, but on expressing yourself as much as possible. I promise you, if you come hang out with us in the Freestyle Forum sometime or go cipher with some friends and you allow yourself to just be free and stressless and express yourself openly, you're gonna have more fun than ever before. And the more fun you have, the more likely you are to practice tomorrow and the next day. So always prioritize enjoying and expressing and having fun above everything else. With that out of the way, those are my top six freestyle rap tips for people looking to level up their rap game very fast. If you want to come join me in the ciphers, then hop on over to the Freestyle Forum Discord in the description below. And if you want to get better at freestyle rapping, then check out some of these videos below.